Hey everyone, today we're going to see how to use VoiceVersus real-time voice conversion tool. This is a desktop application that allows you to convert your voice in real-time to the chosen voice identity in just three clicks. The application creates a virtual microphone that works seamlessly with 800 plus communication platforms today. So let's get started. We're going to begin by navigating to the voiceverse.xyz forward slash real-time web page. Here, as part of the process, the first thing we're going to do is install the virtual microphone. Clicking on the button is going to begin downloading a zip file. Let's navigate to the downloads folder and double click on the asset to begin unzipping the installation script. We're going to execute the script by right clicking on it, selecting open with and choosing a terminal. Here I have got iTerm set as my default, but please feel free to choose any terminal that exists on your workstation or laptop. Clicking on it, is going to begin executing a bit of code. In due time, the software is going to prompt you for a password. Please enter the password that you use to log into your workstation or laptop. When I enter the password, it's going to execute a bit more code and should be done in a few seconds. Wonderful! Now that the installation is complete, a quick way to check that the virtual microphone has been successfully installed is to navigate to the spotlight search by hitting command space and searching for audio MIDI setup. In the pop-up that appears, we're going to search for the presence of a voice verse label. If that exists, then everything has gone ahead smoothly and we can move on to the next step. The last part of the process is for us to download and install our desktop application. We're going to begin by hitting the desktop app button on the web page. This should begin downloading a DMG file for us. The download is going to take a few minutes, but for the purposes of this demo, I've already downloaded one for us. Next, we're going to navigate to the Downloads folder. Once the DMG has downloaded, we're going to now install the application by double-clicking on the asset. And in the pop-up that appears, we're going to drag and drop our VoiceWorks application into the Applications folder. This should begin the installation process. Once complete, we're going to now navigate to the application by opening a Spotlight Search using Command and Space and searching for VoiceWorks. When the application opens for the first time, you will be met with this error prompt. We're going to mitigate this in future releases, but for now, to navigate against this, we're going to hit on Cancel, go back to Spotlight Search, and search for System Preferences. Here, we're going to navigate to Security and Privacy, and against the text here, we're going to click on Open Anyway. Click on Open once again, and this should now successfully open your application and begin the setup process. Once complete, in a few seconds, you should be good to start converting your voice. Once so the setup is complete, we'll begin by choosing the input device and then the output. Please make sure to always choose the VoiceWorks virtual microphone that you installed in the previous step for the output device. For my voice identity, I'm going to stick with the female and I'm going to hit on Start Converting. And that's all we need to begin converting our voice in real time to the chosen voice identity. Now to make sure that everything is running smoothly end to end and that our voice is converting seamlessly, we're going to run a quick mic test. We're going to head over to the browser and navigate to the Discord app. Once the app loads, we're going to head to the bottom of the screen, select user settings, voice and video, and for the input device, please make sure to have the voice first virtual microphone selected as your input device. Now let's run a quick test. Hey there. Hey there. How are you? How are you? And there you have it. Our voice is converting in real time to the chosen voice.